October 1st, 2016, and I grew two packages of zucchini squash this year. This is a yellow crook neck, they call that. Now here's a mutated leaf that I found on it. And actually there's two mutations on this same plant. Now let's zoom in. This is the leaf in question, one of them. Now I don't know if this is two leaves as one or one leaf that has mutated. Here's a normal one. This is what a normal one looks like. Uh, with about 200 leaves on all these plants that I grew, this is the only leaf that's like this. So that's why I think it's a mutation. Normally you have the midrib that goes right down the middle and it ends right at the tip right there. So this is a normal looking one. You have the middle, and then you have two of these. Uh, almost looks like a maple leaf a little bit, but this comes out here, and then out there. Here is the midrib. There's one. See that? Two, three, four, five. So now here's the mutation. See how it's separated in there? But if you put them together, it actually makes that leaf. Here's the midrib right there. See how you got that little tip in there? But if you look on this one, this has got the tip also. So I'm wondering if there's two midribs. So if there are two midribs, this is actually two separate leaves that are connected. Now remember this leaf over here, if you match these up, if this would have been the midrib, right there, see how that matches, and then this would be down there. So that would be one leaf, and this does the exact same thing on the other side. That would be the midrib, right there and then this comes out here and there so that's why I'm wondering if this is two leaves because if you count them now you have one two three four five six normally you would only have five one two three four five so this is very unusual all the other leaves look like this one except check this out here's the second mutation on this zucchini have to move this around here and let's zoom in a little bit it's right there now see this one, midrib. Again, it's one solid line that goes to the end. Now here's the mutation that I noticed also. See the midrib? It's supposed to go to this point right here because that's got the point, which goes here. But see how it loses one main central like this one this is a mutation happening in here because out of all these about 200 and so leaves they all are like a normal one so there's two leaf mutations that are on this squash and maybe it's coming from the rain but uh, I can't believe how many I'm finding, and I will bet you this is not the last one.
Okay, in conclusion, I figured it out. The midrib, this is from a normal one, this leaf. The midrib, which is in the middle, is missing on this one. It's split in two. Compare those. One, two, three, four. The midrib would be five. That's split into two little ones, I'll show you. But if you look at this, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. The fifth one would be the midrib. And actually it's this little thing and this little thing. Or it's actually missing. The midrib is missing. We are in the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio, USA. Slowly becoming the mutation capital of the world. Thanks to Fukushima. These are minor mutations, but this is what's going to slowly happen. Is the, uh, the gene pool is becoming contaminated. And these genes end up being passed on. Maybe it's coming from this rain.